Hey everybody, Sam Kavaris in the Nimnik Sports Update, brought to you by Nimnik Chevrolet and the Nimnik family of dealerships. You know, what's interesting is uh, this time of year, things really change. It's a downtime for the National Football League, and this is one of the things from the collective bargaining agreement that the players really wanted. They wanted some time away. They didn't want the, uh, the, the owners or the, obviously the coaching staff to have the players in there constantly leading up to training camp. So, I mean, Malarkey, Mike Malarkey is on vacation. His staff is gone. Uh, Shad Khan's in and out of town. The players are all scattered, particularly after the, uh, uh, the rookies have the opportunity to be gone. They won't come back until July the 26th, and the first day on the field will be July the 27th. And there'll be new rules for what they can do during training camp in terms of pads and helmets and, and all that. And we'll talk about that as you get closer. And we'll let you know when you can go to training camp as well. But July 27th is going to be the first day, and that's a Friday, and I'm sure those will be open to the public. Um, uh, those of you who are regular viewers, I was, I was off last week, and I happened to be in Greece. Over there, visit some family and... And um, it was fascinating, uh, a couple of things. Uh, one was the coverage of the Greek elections, watching it on CNN, which is an American, obviously, broadcast company, and, and them talking about it as if their hair was on fire and Chicken Little was around, and the rest of all of the other networks talking about it in very kind of formal, straightforward fashion. I can tell you, it was no big deal there, and uh, the Greeks really are trying to uh, make things work. At the same time, they do have a different sensibility about what work is, and um, uh, the government that they've uh, that they've elected and the coalition that they put together, they're going to try to make it work. Don't don't think that they're going to move out of the eurozone or dump the euro because that would be a disaster. And they all, everybody over there knows that um, for a variety of reasons. There was one funny thing that I did see. I'm watching Al Jazeera in my hotel room one afternoon. And this is Al Jazeera, and part of it is, you know, kill all the infidels. And on the bottom it says, game four of the NBA Finals, Miami wins, takes a three games to one lead, LeBron has 25 cents. I was like, really? This is Al Jazeera? And the bottom line is all about the NBA Finals? Just uh, kind of a different perspective that you get uh, when you have the opportunity to travel. And I'm, uh, I'm, I'm always glad to go, but I'm always glad to come back to this, the greatest country on earth. I'm Sam Kavaris, and that the, that's the Nimnik Chevy Sports Update.